Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we're going to be looking at another AP Physics 1 um, rotation free response question, torque rotation. Um, as usual, I suggest you try the problem uh, first before continuing on the video. So pause it, you know, take a look at the problem, attempt it, then come back after you've tried it. A box of uniform density weighing 100 newtons moves in a straight line with constant speed along a horizontal surface. The coefficient of sliding friction is 0.4 and the rope exerts a force F in the direction of motion as shown above. On the diagram below, draw and identify all the forces on the box. Well, I have F going horizontal. I got gravity, 100 newtons going down. I got a normal force. And then I also have friction acting down here. Okay. Anything else? Mm, that's it. Calculate the force F exerted by the rope that keeps the box moving with constant speed. So if it's moving with constant speed, that means no acceleration. Right? So what does no acceleration mean? That means the net force equals zero. Because F net has to equal MA. If A equals zero, then, that has to, then, then all of this equals zero. So what are the net forces? Well, the most important thing is uh, both X and Y direction is zero. So first of all, in the y direction, I would say the normal force has to equal gravity, the force of gravity, which is 100 newtons, right? Kind of makes sense. The x direction, f has to equal the force of friction. Now that has to equal mu times the normal force, and mu is 0.4, and the normal force is 100 newtons. So therefore, f is equal to that, so f equals uh, 40. Okay, so that's a pretty straightforward free body diagram problem, linear acceleration. Now, a horizontal force F prime is applied at a height 5 thirds meter above the surface as shown in the diagram above is just sufficient to cause the box to begin to tip forward about the axis through point P. The box is 1 meter wide and 2 meters high. Calculate the force F prime. So it's just causing it to um, uh, go down. So we, we got to do a free body diagram here. I want to be very careful about this free body diagram. So I have a force F prime here. I have um, at the center force of gravity. Okay. And then I have a normal force. But you see, since it's just beginning to tip like this ground, the normal force is all right at point P. Like all of the force is right at that point. That's the normal force. And it's not sliding, so it's, uh, I guess I must have a frictional force. It's not sliding, it's just rotating here. So there's a frictional force here, right at that point. That's keeping it, because otherwise the net force would be, it'd be like sliding. But apparently there's enough friction to sort of keep it from, not from sliding. Okay, so those are all the forces. Now, this is a torque problem because what I'm looking at is this is the point of rotation. And, and you see, what, what's cool about putting the point of rotation right here um, is that the force of friction, I don't need to know what the normal force or the force of friction is because they will cause a net torque of zero. All right, this is a, kind of a statics problem. The net torque is zero. Why is the net torque zero? It's because it's just beginning to tip. It's not accelerating. Right? If it had a positive torque or you know, a non-zero torque, it would be accelerating its angular motion. But it's just beginning to tip. So it's kind of like right on the edge. So the net torque is definitely zero. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, the only forces that are going to cause a torque are F prime and this one. So let's do F prime first. And let's, let's do our orientation. Counterclockwise torques will be positive, and clockwise, anything that causes it to rotate clockwise will call negative torque. So the, 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 this F prime is going to be a negative torque, because this is going to tend to rotate it clockwise, right? That's the, that's the direction that um, this torque is going to do. So this is going to be a negative torque. It's going to be F prime times 5 thirds meter. And the reason I multiply is because the R vector, I'm going to do my R vectors in green. Hopefully I'll try to remember that, that convention. My R vector for this force is like this, and it's already perpendicular to F prime. See that? Okay, now let's do FG. 
Well, the R vector is looks like this. Okay. So this is going to cause a torque to, to turn it the other way. It's definitely going to be a positive torque. Okay. And it's going to be FG. Now, the problem here is that FG is not perpendicular to the R vector. Okay. So I either need to project. There's two ways you can do this. You can either try to find the point of FG that's perpendicular to this green vector, which is pretty hard, to be honest. Or you find the portion of this green vector that's perpendicular to the F vector, okay? which is, would be that. So this part here is perpendicular to that. And so the length of this one is uh, 0.5 meters. So it would be plus times 0.5 meters. Oops. I forgot to change this to blue. 0.5 meters. Um, Fg, by the way, is uh, the force of gravity. It's 100 newtons. So this is really F prime, if I bring this to the other side, times 5 thirds equals 100 times 0.5. That's 50 newtons. Newton meters, really. And then F prime is equal to 3 fifths times 50. That's equal to 30 newtons. You see, this is smaller than this thing. So that means we are correct. It's not accelerating, right? Because um, it's not enough force to keep it moving at constant speed. All right. Hope you found that helpful. Um, this is a really, this is a tough problem. Um, I know I went through it pretty fast, but identifying the r vector and the perpendicular portions and setting it up is actually pretty subtle and if you if you could have done this on your own i, I think you're in pretty good shape when it comes to torque doing torque calculations so i uh, hope you found that helpful and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching the video guys please leave a comment like or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below i offer free homework help on uh, twitch and discord see you guys in the next video